Lung cancer. When we hear this, we immediately think of smoking. We all know the dangers associated with smoking, and we've made strides to create policy around its use. For example, right here at UCLA, we're a smoke-free campus. But what if I told you that two-thirds of people diagnosed with lung cancer today aren't current smokers? Lung cancer is not only the number one deadliest cancer worldwide, but it kills more people than breast, prostate, and colon cancers combined. And of those diagnosed, only one in seven live past five years. These staggering statistics tell us just how important it is to study this disease so we can identify new therapies. So this is why I study lung cancer, and today I want to tell you about the questions that my research is looking at. One, why do we get lung cancer? And two, how can we stop it? So why do we get it? Well, in a healthy lung, we have these mature cells with finger-like projections that are important for normal lung function. They help get rid of infection and harmful particles that are in the lung. We can see here the fingers of these cells working together to move this piece of debris up and out of the lung. Now, these mature cells, here in orange on top, they come from something called stem cells, here in blue on the bottom. And in my research, I found that when lung cancer first forms, these stem cells divide quickly and replace the mature cells. You can think of it as a precancer. And eventually, the precancerous stem cells divide so quickly and uncontrollably that they form a cancer that can spread across the body. Now, when most people think about treating lung cancer, they think about it at this stage. But by that time, it's very aggressive. So my research, it takes a different approach. What if we could target the cancer before it's aggressive? What if we could target the precancer? Is there a drug that we could give high-risk patients to keep their lungs healthy like this? We think yes. So in my research, I've created a model that mimics pre-cancer in a dish. I've engineered the precancerous stem cells to glow brightly, and I can measure the intensity of this glow. And using this model, I screened for over 20,000 drugs, and I found one promising drug that decreases the intensity of the glowing stem cell by 85%. It makes them divide more slowly and helps make more mature lung cells again. We believe this work has tremendous clinical potential that can save lives. But you know, in the three minutes that we've spent together, another person in the US has just died of lung cancer. The devastating reality that these patients face needs to change. And I strongly believe my research can do just that. Thank you.